Dr. Lem Burnham, the Vietnam vet and former player in the NFL. When asked which one he thought was more difficult, he responds faster than a drill sergeant motivating his troops. It's no contest. The NFL's a piece of cake compared to, to the Marine Corps. That was my response. And it's true, it is. In 1965, Dr. Burnham, still a senior in high school, was drafted by the Army, which required a minimum of a two-year enlistment. However, Dr. Burnham was compelled to join the Marine Corps and signed up to serve his country for four years instead of two. He was sent to Paris Island for boot camp, where the next three months would affect him for the rest of his life. The experiences were just absolutely dynamic and painful at times. And the result of being committed to that was what I was able to do in transitioning from the military to civilian life. So I have to credit the Marine Corps for really uh, being the foundation. I hate to even think about what my life would have been if I hadn't gone into the Marine Corps. He would use the characteristics he learned as a service member, such as commitment and discipline, to excel in football and reach the highest professional level, the National Football League. While competing for a roster spot, he relied on his military training to help him beat out the competition. My ability to compete and go up against guys who were considered superior had a lot to do with my experience as a Marine. A lot of those guys that are out there on the football field could not cut it in Paris Island, and I knew it. Dr. Burnham is very involved with helping veterans who are pursuing their education at Wilmington University. Whenever I have an opportunity to engage with a veteran, I take it very serious because I understand the price they paid and I know why they paid that price. I feel indebted to that veteran because I know if it wasn't for all veterans that America probably wouldn't be a free country that it is.